Hi, welcome back to another Crypto Dave video. So today I'm going to do another update video on being a Gollum network provider. It's uh, now been over six months. I've been running as a provider for over six months and I've got some more uh, statistics to share with you about the results from uh, running as a provider for those kind of six months. Um, now, for those of you who don't know, um, I did a a sort of set up video on how to set up kind of Gollum and become a provider on the network I think probably at the beginning of the year or very early in 2018 and then after I've been running for about two and a half months I did an update video on my results and it caused um I got a bit of kind of grief so I got uh, you know some kind of like stroppy kind of messages back from people I was just going over my kind of figures basically saying you know this is the amount of jobs that I've completed uh, this is the amount of payments I've received or the amount of jobs which have been kind of validated um, you know is there kind of an issue with the the system etc etc now the reason I'm doing an update video today is that yesterday a new version of the software came out which apparently addresses some of the payment issues now to be fair, the last version, which was 17.1, was supposed to address all these kind of payment issues, and it didn't. So I'm not, you know, holding out, you know, too much hope for this kind of new version. But anything that goes towards um, getting on top of these kind of awaiting kind of payment issues, I think, would be good. So if they have done some work towards it, that would be fantastic. If we look at the stats page on the Gollum Network, I'll put all the links to these um, pages below. You can see that there are some people that have upgraded to the new version, versus eight, uh, version 0 0.18.0, but there are still a load of people on version 0.17.1. It did only up, um, update yesterday, or it was released yesterday, 18.0, so um, not everybody obviously will be on the new version yet, but I did upgrade uh, yesterday. Anyway, let's jump um, over to the stats. I'll start by just talking through the stats from when I did my first video. So these are the stats from my first video, which is quite a few months ago now. End of June, I did this video, or beginning of July. So the stats are from the 12th of April to the 24th of June. It was the first two and a half months I'd been running. Um, and as you can see from the stats here, uh, 280 jobs completed, of which 63 have been confirmed, and 217 were still awaiting. So basically, when you complete a job, it appears in the software, it says that it's... Um, it, it's been kind of completed and it appears there with an awaiting status and awaiting basically means it's waiting for payment from the requester and then once it's um, the payment has been received it changes from awaiting to confirmed so as you can see 23% uh, had been confirmed and 78% were still awaiting payment and then if we look here this is the actual GNT earned um, as opposed to just the jobs jobs can be of different sizes from sort of point zero one or um, sort of GNT up to multiple GNT I think the largest I've received has been about two and a half uh, GNT for a single job but a lot of them are, are sort of around or under sort of one GNT so the amount you can earn for different jobs um, are different but in terms of the GNT earned we'd only received 10% of what we should have received and 90% was still awaiting and my question really for that was um, the average for confirmed jobs was 0.3 and the average for awaiting jobs was about 0.8 so it was over two and a half times more uh, GNT that I should have earned for jobs which were awaiting than ones which had confirmed and had been paid for so my question really was a simple one it was um, everybody acknowledged there were issues with the payment system now they'd always been portrayed as um, problems with batch processing and stuff like that but my question really was is the system being exploited and um, the reason really is this kind of big differentiation between you know these two kind of figures so they, they sh you know if if there was no statistical t statistical difference they should be basically the same now I kind of accept that maybe there is um, a greater chance if it's like a, a higher paid job it runs for longer there's a greater chance of something going wrong with that job but these are all jobs which have completed um, jobs which time out jobs which kind of like fail and um, don't show up in the software in the same way so my question was had this been exploited and after I did this um, this update video a lot of people kind of like attacked me um, from the kind of subreddit and um, they were like, well, you should send your logs to the team. They asked for the kind of logs and they'll kind of like sort it out. So I did that and I had a bit of a back and forth between somebody and the support team. So basically I was asking about these awaiting jobs. Um, and it was during the time when CryptoKitties was on um, the Ethereum network, when it really brought the Ethereum network to its knees. And it was kind of kicked into the long grass, I feel, uh, from the team. So I got this response saying, oh, it's, it's an issue with Ethereum's network, with batch processing. They're taking a long time. What could take up to 30 days to receive a payment um, can now take up to 90 days. And I did re 
apply and I asked about this um, requesters because the response I got basically said as long as a requester um, sort of approves the job then you should get paid um, even if it's kind of delayed you should get paid and I said well if the requester is being relied on to say whether a job has been completed successfully or not what's to stop a requester just you know requesting loads and loads of jobs getting all that work done for free and then just not you know validating or sort of confirming that they've been done correctly um, and I didn't get a response to that I've, I've asked the same question many times in the subreddit uh, nobody really seems to want to you know kind of like either confirm this and I, I haven't been a requester on the network so if you are a requester I would be really interested to know if that is the case if it's um, a case of you know the work comes back to you and then you have to say yes it's been completed successfully and in order for the payment to be kind of taken but it seems to me if that is the case then you know it's a massive flaw in the system rather than just a bug in the payment system anyway um I, there was a bit of kind of back and forth at the time i sent my kind of logs off i didn't get a response um, and then last week i posted on the subreddit which opened up the same kind of can of worms and i was you know attacked by people saying oh this is beta software you should expect there to be a few you know issues and you know a few micro payments going missing you know doesn't mean that you know software not working etc etc um but nobody really wanted to address the kind of core my core question really of is there a manual step where a requester has to confirm that the work has been done and if that is the case you know the system surely will continue to be exploited until that's automated in some way anyway as i said version 18.0 has come out that apparently should address the uh, payment issues but we don't uh, know whether it will yet it's only been running for a couple of days i will do an update maybe at the end of the year once that's been running and tell you whether um, things have improved but let's have a look at the stats for the for six months so those previous stats were just till the end of june so i now have a lot more kind of statistics now so we've completed 745 jobs uh, 201 have been confirmed 544 are still awaiting so things are moving in the right direction uh, the completed jobs has gone from 23% to 27% and GNT earned has gone from 10% up to 17% so a big increase there we have still got a big discrepancy it's not quite double it's under double but it's about 45% uh, more GNT should be earned from the jobs which aren't uh, validated, which you know does, you know, make me think I haven't got an answer to this question. If requesters are just able to just not, you know, confirm jobs and you just don't get paid, that seems a big issue. But things do seem to be at least moving in the right direction. Um, my issue really is that I accept this is beta software. I accept that there are some issues. I think the trouble is really the communication so the way this has always been portrayed is that it's an issue with the batch payments um, you have to wait up to 30 days sorry I should also mention these stats go up to the 18th of October it's only the 24th of October now a lot of people I'm sure will come back and say you have to wait 30 days for payments or it can be up to 30 days for payments to be received um, the only thing I'd say to that is that in my experience um, that's not the case you either get paid out within sort of 24 hours maybe 48 hours uh, maximum I don't think it's taken me that long if a payment hasn't come in within you know a day it's not going to come in and I actually went back through these stats so this was the first uh, batch of 280 when I did my first update video I went back through all these jobs and the 217 jobs which were awaiting then are still 217 jobs so not one of them has then confirmed even though it's been now you know four months five months six months since those so uh, some people may say you have to wait 30 days um, in my experience that's not the case I don't know anybody who has started receiving kind of payments um, anything more than sort of 24 48 hours maybe maximum so um, that is a caveat you know the system may change that you know we're going they're going to go back and start trying to process some of these payments which haven't been made in my experience that's never happened but I'm hopeful that with version 18.0 maybe not the previous job so I imagine these sort of 500 odd jobs 300 almost 300 GNT are just are just kind of lost but if going forward we can have you know more accurate and more timely payments I think that will be really good even if this could you know we have a, a good amount still missing but these change around so we're getting paid for three quarters of our kind of jobs rather than a quarter that will be great or if we've been paid for you know 80 percent of our GNT rather than 20 percent um that would be really good um it really comes down to me to kind of transparency if 
you know, this is just, you know, the first implementation of the kind of software, and obviously it is. We've, we're just doing Blender rendering at the moment. We haven't moved on to anything else uh, yet. So if the team just came out and said, look, this is just, you know, it is beta software, and we are re reliant on requesters actually confirming that the jobs have been done um, before you can get paid out, that's fine. And if they kind of came out and said, well, you know, we're working on an automated solution, but it might be six months, or it might be a case of that they say, well, you know, providers that never, or requesters rather, that never uh, pay out just get blocked from the network after X amount of jobs, or if they're only paying out for, you know, whatever it is, um, less than 75 percent of the work then they get automatically blocked on the network i don't think people would have an issue i think it's the fact that it seems to be kind of like covered up to a certain extent so nobody really wants to address this kind of issue i still haven't received a response this is what i think is going on i think it's just a case of requesters request jobs they get the work back and then you know they either just disappear off and do something else or they you know pay for a few jobs don't pay for the the full amount um which is frustrating but hopefully you know as we move on to other use cases that can be validated automatically by the network uh, you know we should get over some of these kind of issues um the batch payment kind of issues if there have been i don't see that they're a big um issue um i don't think it is that i think it was just a way of kind of like sort of like sort of kicking in some ways the issue into the long grass if you say oh you've got to wait 30 days it just means that it gives you another month and then turning around and saying oh it's got to be 90 days now because ethereum's overloaded i think was you know pretty ridiculous considering it was overloaded maybe for a week but certainly didn't affect a lot of the early or more recent jobs anyway um i'm i'm still despite these um kind of figures which might seem pretty damning and you know i'm not having to go at golem as a project i think it's a really I think it's a fantastic project that has some huge long-term kind of potential kind of use cases. Um, it's a shame that the first use case that kind of was rolled out has not worked particularly well for providers because my worry is that people, particularly at the moment with the issues with GPU and CPU kind of mining not being profitable, I think now's a golden time for getting people switching over to Gollum. Um, and, you know, and, and dedicating their kind of hardware over to the kind of Golem network. And I think if these payments have been the other way around, then people have been like, OK, this has got potential. We know there's bugs, but it's got potential. But I think people, you know, certainly some people I've um, spoken to, I mean, there's people who have set this up on VPSs and stuff like that. And, you know, they've run for three months and gone, oh, hang on, I'm only getting paid for a fraction of what I, I thought I would be. Um, and then they switch it off and they don't kind of come back. So that's my kind of issue. I'm not you know bad mouth in the project as i said all these are is, is my kind of figures this is taken directly from the kind of software um a couple of days ago so this is the reality for me it may be completely different to you if you've been paid for you know 75 percent of your jobs and you're only missing 25 you know i'd really like to hear from you because it may be that there's an issue with the um the implementation on my machine or something like that uh, the other thing I want to do going forward, so I will do an update maybe end of the year uh, with the version 18.0 software so we can see if that's had uh, a big effect. If it does seem to be going a lot better, I'll I'll update the sort of description below. I'll put a sticky uh, comment below to let you uh, know that it looks a lot better with the, um, with the new version of software. The other thing I'd like to do is set up on Linux. So version 18.0 has GPU support, but it's only GPU support for NVIDIA cards on Linux rather than Windows. Um, I don't think it's going to be rolled out to Windows uh, soon from reading the kind of comments um, in the subreddit. But uh, yeah, I might try and set up a Linux box to see how the GPU side of things works. But anyway, that's um, my results over the last six months. Let me know what your results have been like uh, below. Let me know if you're sticking with the project. Hopefully you are. And um, yeah, hopefully I will see you on the next video. Have a great day. Bye bye.